Hey guys, I'm Thomas from Wi-Fi, and here we have our latest product, the PP2K. I'm not gonna lie, the P2K has quickly become the most popular gun on our website. Customers around the world started to asking where do we restart the P2K, and I'm gonna tell you. Wait for it. Wait for it. We are working on it. And for today's video, I'm going to show you the PP2K with suppressor, but also the extended 300mm inner barrel. In order to change the inner barrel and the hop up unit, you will need three tools a small screwdriver, a 1.5mm Allen key, and your hop up adjustment Allen key, which is included in your accessory pack. First, disassemble your PP2K upper and lower, and your bolt. From here, you can see there is six screw on the left and right side using the 1.5mm Allen key to take it off. After take out this set screw, you can pull out your inner barrel and hop up unit. Then, using the screwdriver to take out these two screws on your hop up adjustment lever. Using the small screwdriver again to take out your hop up chamber screws. And then, here is your hop up and your inner barrel. We currently have two kinds of hop up that can use on the PP2K. The modified 10 bucking is for the lighter weight BBs, and the Predator 65 degrees bucking is for those who want to outrange others using the 0.4 heavy BBs. And here we have the 300mm inner barrel for the PP2K, so you can install it and hide inside your silencer. And this is how you change the inner barrel and buckings. I'm using the 0.2 gram BBs. Empty the mag. And another full mag. So as you can see, we still have two BBs in the magazine and one BB is inside maybe the hop up chamber. It could be the weather or the temperatures that could empty the two four mags, but I think it is still a pretty good GBB. As you can see, the PP2K with 300mm extended inner barrel can increase the FPS to around 380. It's around 115 meters per second. And it still can almost empty two mag before it runs out of gas. So I think the PP2K is a very reliable airsoft GBB. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.